Hey, it's Kat here and I'm so excited to be making another video today with my new friend at the Centro Knitting Machine. This time we're going to do a knit vest. In my how not to make a cardigan video, I actually made something that resembled a vest but it was more like an Aladdin style jacket type thing. But I feel like that was a good start and I can improve on that. This time I'm going to make two panels, a front and a back panel, and I'm going to use a more chunky yarn than I did before. It's paint box simply chunky and it's this gorgeous mushroom colour. I'm going to make sure that I have the panel setting on. We're on the tube setting now, so I'm just going to switch it to the panel setting. Then I'm going to take my waist yarn, which is in a contrasting colour to the yarn we're using for the top, and I'm going to cast on. So I'm going to pop it under the first hook, which is in a different colour. It's actually in white compared to the other hooks. And I'm going to go all the way around, missing out every hook. And then I'm going to go back on myself because it's a panel just like this, but going around every hook. I'm going to pop it in the gauge. I'm still going to hold on to it. Okay, so where it stops, that is where I'm going to stop, even though it doesn't go past this hook. So find where it naturally stops and then go back on yourself and go around and do that 10 times so you've got 10 rows. I'll meet you back here when you've got about that much thickness and then we can put our main yarn on. Right, I have about 10 rows of waist yarn and if you're gonna mess up, do it on the waist yarn because it doesn't matter. You're gonna cut all this off anyway. You need to just make sure that your edges are okay because that is where you can tend to mess up. So when you've got that all right, then you can just chop your waist yarn and then add on your main yarn into the project. Just gonna pop that in like that. And then really we wanna get it on this hook, okay? So don't worry about these other hooks. It doesn't matter too much, but the panel is gonna start on this hook. So we're gonna just, it's gonna go under there. And there we are, that's on. And then just pop it through and carry on as you were with your waist yarn from back to front. I'm going to do about 120 rows. So I'll meet you back here when I've actually done all of my yarn. <laughs> Hello, it's the next day and I have two panels. I've stretched them out a bit so they spring back to their knitted selves and I'm going to just sew the sides together but kind of leave an armhole. Okay, so I threaded a tapestry needle with the yarn and I'm just gonna go back and forth through every stitch until I get about three quarters of the way up, which is gonna be the armhole, so we don't want to sew that together. And then I'm gonna try it on just to see what it looks like. So I know I have 92 stitches in total. So I'll meet you back here when I've done up until the arm, kind of around here, I think. Okay, so we are gonna pretend that this is an armhole and I think that is big enough. So that's exactly how I'm measuring it today. Extremely accurate. So now to secure this, because otherwise it's gonna start going like that. We wanna make it really secure because that will be where the armhole begins. So we're just gonna put it through a couple more times. Just to make it really nice and strong. It's not going anywhere. Slip that one off and do exactly the same on the other side. I'm so excited, it's looking really good. So now all we need to do is do the top parts where the straps go. And I'm gonna start taking off the waist yarn I thread the needle and now I'm going to do exactly the same as I did on the sides but on the top. Right, so now I have sewed up eight stitches on, on this side and now I'm going to use my crochet hook and go along the edge of this with a single crochet. So I'm just going to make a little slip knot here. And then I don't know if this is going to be enough, but I'm going to go along the edge, the edge of these and just make 
single crochet for each one. And each time I'm just going to cut the green bit away so I'm left with the loop. The next one here. So I'm going to do that all the way across. Now I've sewed the two kind of straps. I'm going to take this piece and do a single crochet but across the other side. I'm going to do a little slip knot. Going across like this, all the way across until you get to the other side, and then we'll fasten off. So now I've crocheted all the way across, and I'm going to take the waist yarn off by cutting these small little pieces of waist yarn. all the way across and then it should come off nicely. Nearly finished, so excited. So this is the vest and all we need to do is the bottom. So we're gonna take the waist yarn off and I'm gonna sew on a waistband that I've already made by crochet. So the way that I made this waistband was just pulling through one and then pulling through again. So going to pull through and then slip stitching. I'm doing that until I get to the end and then I will chain one and then go back the other way and do exactly the same thing. And that's how I ended up with this waistband and I'm hoping it's gonna be, it's a little bit long. So I'm gonna keep it on the hook as a work in progress, if you know what I mean until I have sewn on the waistband to the bottom, which I'm going to do now. I'm gonna do it using the crochet hook because I just find it easier than sewing, but you are welcome to do it with a darning needle if you like. So all I'm gonna do is take the end of this project here, pop my hook through, and then I will pull through a new piece of yarn. Then I want to take the end for the first gray loop on the end, And then I'm going to pull that through both of those. And I'm going to do that for every stitch along. So I'm going to line it up. Every single stitch all the way along. And as long as they're lined up nicely, you take that bit off, that's how that's gonna be. So let's just have a little look. Yeah, so it's all gonna be attached like that, which is pretty nice. So I'll meet you back here when we've gone all the way round and then we'll fasten off and we should have our vest. So here we have our finished vest. I also can block it as well. So if you put it in water and just sort of like pin it out, then the stitches all fall, all fall nicely. I've also learned that this needed to be kind of stretched a little bit as it was going along because it looks a bit peplumy now. But nevertheless, it is a vest and I will show it to you now and try it on. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you did like this video then please give it a thumbs up, it would really make my day. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you liked this video then you'll also love this video. I'll see you there.